Welcome back. This is the follow-up to the beginning. But before we go to the story, I want to promote Flying Film Production, which is my company, with two new mystery assistants and a manager, uh, Jonas Ekberg, out of Flor uh, Florida, in Fort Lauderdale, actually, uh, in the United States, of course. And his info is going to be all over Facebook, LinkedIn, and on YouTube also. So no worries on that. And we're ready because Flying Field is a big time producing company. And again, we are the freshest kids out there. So remember, there you go. Promoted. Now to the story itself. In Bermuda with a pissed off photographer who happens to be French. Almost killed him because I didn't have a cigarette and I almost missed the flight. He's still not talking to me. And, you know, I don't care because I'm in Bermuda. In my mind, I'm like, oh, this is heaven. And I'm getting paid, paid education and paid vacation. That's how I was thinking. And he was not going to be able to ruin that for, for anything. Uh, because I knew I was going to learn a lot from this trip. And I'm just going to sit back and watch. We jump in a cab, get to the hotel. Uh, we check in. I get my room. And now here I am checking out on this equipment. And all I'm thinking in my mind, you know, I got to check this first, but, you know, I want to get to the client dinner. I want to dress up. I mean, you know, in Bermuda, I want to see the girls, you know, four girls, two guys. I'm thinking, well, this is getting crazy. So, you know, I'll be my first equipment. So now I'm checking all these cameras. I have to learn to load them. This is before digital times. Light meters, we have four different ones. Uh, flashes, reflectors, all kinds of stuff. I did some research so I knew what I was getting into, but I've never loaded these cameras, so I had to learn that first. So now, I feel comfortable. Done. I felt like I was in the wild, wild west, loading my guns and, you know, checking my equipment. So now, ready. Packed up. Getting ready for client dinner. Get a shower, Caribbean style, with a shirt from Cuba, Cuba Havana, traditional with embroidery and everything, and linen pants, Italian sandals. So I get to the table and the photographer is there already and the client and her assistant. And he goes immediately, oh, this is my assistant, oh, Robert, he's from Sweden, he lives in New York now, super, he's the best, huh? no worries, we handle anything, he's the best. Huh? And I'm thinking, hey, shit, what kind of pressure is this, you know, directly on me. And I'm like, all right, so yeah, Robert, being polite, sweet, sit down and watch. And she pulls out paper. You know, want to talk some idea, and he goes immediately like, "Oh no, you idiot! Are you crazy? Huh? No business before my French wine or my dinner." And I'm amazed. I'm, I can't believe this shit. You know, how is he talking to this and this editor? I mean, she was an editor for a fitness magazine, but she was an orangutan of a woman. I mean, it was just crazy to watch her, and that that English accent she had it didn't work out with the body she had. It was just weird. And then this little cute you know, assistant she had, nervous as hell uh, because this was her first trip with a big editor, you know, fashion drama, like whew. So, I'm just again sitting back and watching this and he's like, no, 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 no business before dinner, you crazy And again, I'm thinking awkward, 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 awkward mm -hmm. So, here we are, sitting there and then models arrive, late, as a code, always but you know, and I'm a gentleman, so I rise up, stand up, pull out these two chairs, and right in the middle of this action, the photographer goes, Oh, my dear, oh, my dear, my dear, what are you? And this girl arrives, and she's a waitress, of course. And I'm thinking to myself, he's 10 years in the US, and he still conducts himself in this manner. I can't believe this. And I'm watching this and amazed about how this douchebag is getting away with. All kinds of stuff. He orders his wine, French wine, a bottle, I don't know which one, which he doesn't share on, during the whole dinner. Again, awkward, but whatever. He orders, and all of a sudden he sees the girls, the models. He goes, Oh, so big girls, oh, I didn't see you, huh? Eh? And I'm thinking, didn't see them, they're right in front of you, you idiot. And I'm again, in my mind, thinking, this is blowing my mind. I couldn't believe this. And again, I'm sitting backwards watching this. At this moment, I'm actually standing because I'm holding these two chairs looking like a, you know, desperate guy, but not desperate, but you know, I look bad. You know, I'm still standing there. 
And then they, you know, introduce themselves, the awkward moment's over, we sit down, dinner's over, we know each other a little bit here and there. One girl, the model was from Caribbean, the other one was English, and then the, the assistant, she was American, and it was all mixed. Fun. Now, photographer and editor starts talking, you know, dinner and, you know, I mean, business and stuff like that, creative stuff there on the paper. I didn't see, but I took my chance immediately with the girls, telling them, you know, this was my first time as an assistant, I almost missed the flight, almost killed the photographer with one cigarette, you know, they're laughing their asses off. And, you know, I got the girls on my side and they're like, tomorrow we got to be good, you know, let's have a good, enjoy ourselves, have a good time, you know, we're in Bermuda, fuck it, you know, I mean, it might be a little odd and strange, but I'm, I don't care, you know. And as I say this, again, the photographer just explodes. Oh, you crazy, huh? you crazy, what are you doing? You didn't check with me, you put this on paper, and you didn't check with me, I had two shots a day, and huh? that's eight shots in four days, and huh? you need more money, more things, more money, more things, more money. Do you get it, you fucking monkey? And I began, I can't believe this is happening, you know. And I look at these girls, just, you know, what did I tell you, you know? And he goes, if I don't get more money, you kill your boss in London, eh? If I don't get more money, me and Robert, we go to New York in the morning. Ciao, ciao. And he stands up and leaves. And I can't believe it. So he leaves. I sit there, try to pay cool. Don't know what to do, but, you know, I got to stay loyal to, you know, the photographer. Like, you know, this is business. And so I stand up and I say, ladies, it was nice to meet you. This was awesome. And I hope we can continue tomorrow because we're in Bermuda, so let us have a good time and give him what the fuck he ever wants and let's do this. So I leave too. <laughs> and then in the morning, that is the story for next time. And that is going to be the conclusion of this first time assisting gig that I had. So thank you for watching this and uh, spread it please. I need hits on YouTube so uh, and so people can see that you know flying film production is out there doing its thing there's going to be a website and a blog in the future so just support us please or me uh, whoever we are at our team behind the camera but right now there's nobody it's just me and the camera so thank you again and my words of wisdom uh, for this time uh, again a Bob Marley one I'm sorry but he's just a man and he says it's a disgrace to see the human race in a rat race. Now, chew on those words and thank you very much. Until next time, blessed.